Hello and welcome back to Automotive Solutions. Today I'm going to do a comparison test with three of my battery testers. Uh, there's a slight difference in price for these. I've got a cheap one just keeping the car, about £40-50 on eBay. I've got a snap-on, just a basic battery tester. There's no print capability on this one. And I've got my PicoScope, which used alongside Pico Diagnostics, provides a pretty in-depth starting and charging test. So I just want to see whether there's any um, comparison in results so that I can rely on using any one at any time or um, I have to go with you know, the more expensive option. So just going to do a test. I've got a, um, a vehicle here with a charged uh, battery. It's a 750 cold cranking amp battery. So I'm just going to um, run through the test on these three and see, see how we go. The snap-on. should be ready with the right settings on it so let's make sure regular battery EN and it's 750 so just take that down and that is 499 66% okay move on to the little durite okay same with this battery standard lead acid EN 750 cold cranking amps and that's come up fail 552 Okay, and now moving on to the Pico. So the Pico is a little bit more involved. I've got a, I've got a 2000 amp amp clamp going to the starter. I've also got channel A set up to measure voltage on the battery. So channel A, voltage of the battery. Channel B is the amp draw, and then transfer that through the Pico onto the laptop I can zoom in possibly okay hopefully you see that so down the bottom I've preset it 12 volts lead acid 16 degrees centigrade 750 cold cranking amps and EN type of battery so I'm just going to go and crank the vehicle Press start on there. Okay, and the Pico the results are in. So the Pico same battery is good. Uh, and 69% or 700. We look across. It's showing 524 cold cranking amps, which is 69%. Okay, so yeah, it gives you a good uh, a good test, and obviously anything that's not correct, that it's not happy with over here, will be a different colour. I think it's an amber and a red. Uh, charging is good, voltage drop is good, so yeah, it's happy with that. Just battery is a little bit down on capacity. So, I've just been making a note of the. Uh, different the three different results I've just got to convert because the little durite doesn't give you the uh, percentage so I've got a little online calculator here I'm just going to put in 
552 of 750 calculate 73 percent so when we look at the results snap on 66 percent 66 percent capacity 499 cold cranking amps durite 73 and 552 cold cranking amps and pico at 69 percent and 524 cold cranking amps so when you look at the variation in percentage there it's less than 10 percent over three different tools so i'm quite surprised at how close and accurate they are because there's a uh, there is a, a price variation on these but they all seem to have uh, appeared to have produced you know fairly similar results obviously some tools have got more features than others and can look at other other things other than just pure um, a battery test you know with regards to um, checking alternator charging system but uh, yeah fairly impressed really that tools I have been using have been uh, been providing me some good results so I uh, hope this was interesting to you and uh, hopefully you can uh, gain something from this. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.